It's that time of year again. Can you feel it? Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. Can you taste it? This is one of my very favorite times of year. I love the sights, the sounds, and the stories that make it so special. But my favorite story is the one we as Christians celebrate as we light our tree, share our gifts, and sing our songs. Of course, I'm talking about the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Like so many stories in the Bible, there is so much for us to learn from how God interacted with the people he used. Today, we want to look a little deeper at the story we all know and love and just see if we can catch a glimpse of Christmas here today. Hmm. Let's start with Joseph, Jesus' father here on earth. I couldn't believe it when I heard her say it. I'm going to have a baby, God's son, and he will change the world. We weren't married yet. I wasn't ready to be a father. She said she talked to an angel. Doesn't that sound crazy to you? But then it happened. In a dream, an angel talked to me. He said that everything Mary said was true. And then my, in that, that moment, my heart changed. And I became the first of many believers in my own son, Jesus the Messiah. I'm still getting used to getting up in front of people, but I'm learning. I remember the day the angels told me I was to be Jesus' mother. Me? But I was so young, really just a child. I was engaged to be married, but not for a while. I couldn't understand why God would choose me. But God did. Not because of my age or my abilities, but because I was willing and available. I was called by God's love and blessed to be the brother of God's only son. Hmm. And then the shepherds came. So here are the shepherds, and around those parts they didn't get much, you know, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Because, well, see, they don't have a lot of schooling. And mostly they are just out in the fields all day watching sheep. But that's important, because if someone didn't watch the sheep, they'd ro run off and get eaten and things. Lots of folks just think shepherds are stinky and silly, but not God. Oh, no, not God. God sent them a whole slew of angels singing and telling them that the Messiah had been born. At first they were scared, but then they were excited. <laughs> they were the first to know, and were the very first ones to tell others that Jesus has been born. Maybe they did not speak the best or read real well, but God trusted them to announce the arrival of his son. I guess that makes them somebody in God's book. Good evening. It is our privilege and joy to share with you this evening the events that occurred upon our visit to Bethlehem around the arrival of the new baby Jesus of Nazareth. Our charts and graphs as well as our astrological studies have led us to the exact location of the child's birth. We have brought with us valuable gifts to present him as our studies have revealed he would indeed be a king, a king of kings to be exact. Imagine our surprise when all of our Wisdom charts, scraps, and maps led us to a tiny cave behind an inn in the town of Bethlehem. Yeah, we do. We, we bow before the king of the world on a dirt floor and dirty hay, and never in our 
and never have we been so fulfilled in all our lives. there was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. <laughs> he was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life, life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. in darkness have seen a great light. Hear the joyful news from God. To us a child is born. To us a child is given. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He will rule with justice. His realm is one of peace. The wolf shall lie down with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the little child shall lead them. Once there was a young woman named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph of the house of David. God sent the angel Gabriel to speak to her. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Mary was puzzled by Gabriel's words. Gabriel told her not to be afraid. She said she would have a son and name him Jesus. He would be great and would be called Son of the Most High, and his kingdom would have no end. Here I am, servant of the Lord. Let be of you have said. Gabriel left and Mary praised God. Meanwhile, Emperor Augustus ordered that all the world should be registered. Joseph and Mary had to leave Nazareth and go to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because Joseph was descendant from the house and the family of David. He and Mary set out, and Mary was expecting a child. They had to stay in a stable because there was no room for them at the end. It was there in a lowly stable that Jesus Christ was born.
Let's go to Bethlehem and see the wondrous child the angels have told us about. told them the Savior, the Messiah, was born, and that they would find him in Bethlehem lying in a manger. They were the first to hear the news. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth, goodwill to all people. Let's go to Bethlehem and see the wondrous child the angels have told us about. <coughs> the shepherds returned to their people, at, telling everyone what had happened and what had they, they had seen.
Herod sent the three wise people to find Jesus and tell Herod exactly where Jesus was. They followed the star that led them to Bethlehem, right to the stable where Jesus and Mary and Joseph were. The wise ones offered the baby gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. God's love, light, came into our world. An ordinary woman gave birth to an extraordinary baby. All the animals praised him. Angels brought humble shepherds the news. The wisest of the wise knelt and offered gifts to the king of kings. We tell the story every year with joy and thanksgiving. Unto us a child is born, God's gift of love for all the earth. Emmanuel, Prince of Peace. You see, there's so much more to the story than just a, a manger and the birth. Lives were changed. People were transformed. Let's take a look one more time at how these people so long ago were changed. See, each person needed God in some way. They felt confused, insecure, insignificant, unworthy, and self-sufficient. But the love of God transformed them. God changed their lives, their minds, and their hearts. 
God made them into believers and helped them understand they were chosen children of God. God made each of them somebody and gave them hearts of humility. Yes, these people long ago were transformed, but the impact of our Savior's birth continues to this day. Jesus' love still has the power to change us, each one of us, and the story continues even with us. The end.